The 3D Warehouse is one of the largest user-generated online repositories of 3D models in the world. Users not only share their models, but their ideas and insights. It allows you to gather models that you like and reshare those with others. Tagging models and collections as liked opens up a social network within the 3D Warehouse. You can save information about a project or the designer's philosophy or learn the history of an area. When something looks interesting, you can bookmark it by adding it to your collections or leave a note to contribute to the discussion. So how do you join in the fun? Let me show you how to put this chair into the 3D warehouse. I'll right click on the component and select Share Component. If you're already logged into your Google account, your 3D warehouse page will appear or you'll be asked to log into the warehouse. When I make my model public, others can view, search, and download my files, but only I can make changes and add files. The title will be searchable for users perusing the warehouse. I make this one Kitchen Chair. The description can be any information I want to share about this model, about the subject, about life, whatever you want. Give a URL to let folks find a company or other resources on the web and I put in subject tags to make searching for my chair more successful. I can use categories or I can be specific. Finally, click the upload button to put the chair into my account on my 3D Warehouse page. It creates a page for my chair and this lives within my 3D Warehouse account. It takes just a minute for the pages to be updated and searchable and Here's my chair. It has its title, a view of the chair, the description below, and the search tags are here as well. Let me go to my 3D Warehouse page. And there is my chair along with all the other models I've uploaded in the past. I click on the new chair thumbnail and I'm put on the model page and the edit button lets me edit and change any of the information for this model. Allow commenting lets everyone else communicate with me. The model page has an orbit button that launches a web viewer that lets a user view the chair just like in SketchUp. If the model file has scenes in it these can be viewed as well. My chair was uploaded as a component so there are no scenes associated with it, just its initial view. I can download it from here just like any other public user can. I can have the warehouse import the model into my current SketchUp session or save it to a folder on my computer. And there it is coming back into my previous model. In this case the download acts as a reload operation so the chair in my model gets updated to the one on the warehouse. The component is the same name because the warehouse has assigned the component a unique ID that's embedded into the component. SketchUp compares the component IDs and knows that this is the same component. Since it is the same component I can make a change to the seat, maybe paint the cushion with wood to match the table. I can now save component to put the updated chair back into my 3D warehouse. By virtue of the unique identifier, the warehouse knows that there is already information about this chair component and it presents an update form that's already populated with the model's information. I can add more information to the description, maybe even adding product pricing. Hit update and there is my new information. However, the image window needs time to update to show the new seat material. After a short time, I can reload this page and the image window is updated. Let's look at it in the viewer. Zoom in and there's the wood. Go back and there is the updated chair on my 3D warehouse page. Collections are like folders on your computer. A collection contains multiple models all grouped together in one location. I will create a new collection. It has privacy settings and title just like the model form, 
but you can specify a thumbnail from an image file. Otherwise, the warehouse will use the thumbnail of the first model in the collection. Here, I'll name it Product Manufacturing. A general description, learning about the warehouse. And I'm not going to worry about searchable tags. This collection won't be that specific. Now I go back to my main page and select the chair. From the model page, I can put the chair into my new collection. Pick the collection name from the list and make sure to click the Add button. Go back and look in my collections, and the new collection now has one model in it. It takes a while for the warehouse to generate the thumbnail. Don't worry, it will show up in a bit. Click to open the product manufacturing collection. It has my description, and there is my chair. Okay, back in my SketchUp product working file, I want to add the table to my warehouse to keep my chair company. Same information page. We'll call it Kitchen Table, so it might search with my kitchen chair and give it similar tags as I gave to the chair. And my table is in my warehouse. Now I will add it to my product manufacturing collection to go with the chair. And remember to hit the Add button. On my main page, there is the table and the other models. And in the collections, we see that now the products collection has two files in it. And there it is. I can get to the model page from a collection by clicking on the thumbnail. And I can download the table from the model page, just like before. It's best practice to model your products from within a master or working file that may contain more than one product, as shown here. Be sure to save your working file each time you use Share Component so that the unique model ID is saved within the copy in your working file. That way you can come back to this working file to make changes or updates to your products and re-upload them seamlessly. Okay, let's share another component, this timber hammer beam. Do you wonder why the beam in the working model was painted brown, but it came in as white? And the barrel vault in the warehouse has a wood green texture on it. Let me show you that in just a second. First, while I'm here, let's create a new collection for my timber frame elements and get my warehouse organized. Okay, now let's go back to my working model and paint the white hammer beam but instead of painting it on the outside of the component, I edit into the component and paint each of the timbers to match the wood grain of the other timber bent. Sample the paint and paint each subcomponent. Now I share a component back to the warehouse. It already knows the information for the component, so I hit Update straight away. It takes some time to update the thumbnails and the model view, and now the hammer beam is wood colored. So, paint on the component is not stored in the warehouse, but any paint inside the component rides with the component into the warehouse. In general, things for which a user can choose the color or material should be kept the default color in the component. Things that are a given color or material from the manufacturer should be painted within the component. Now let's put my timber elements into the timber frame collection. Click to the model page and add it to the collection. And I will do the same for the other timber bent. Go back to my 3D warehouse page and look in my collections. And sure enough, the timber collection now has two files within it. I'll go back to the collections page and look into my product manufacturing collection. Collections may contain not just models, but also other collections. When I'm in a collection, I can add it to another collection, say my timber frame collection. Hit the Add button. Now looking at my collections page, see how the timber frame collection now has three items. One of them happens to be another collection of my furniture pieces. I can get to the furniture collection by clicking on its thumbnail within my timber collection.
I'll go back. If you want to change your mind, removing a collection from another collection is easy. Clicking on the Home button gets me to the 3D Warehouse main page. The central ribbon is a scrolling list of featured manufacturers' catalogs and then some other ribbons. Let's see how folks will find my stuff. First, I'll do a simple search for models and type in Timber Frame. Wow, there are a lot of models to choose from. Let's do an advanced search and put in my name as the author. And there's my stuff. I click on a thumbnail and it puts me on that models page. And I can download from there. It's just that easy. Go home and see that the top ribbon is featured models, then the featured manufacturer catalogs, then featured geo models, featured collections, and I'll be darned, there's my recent upload from under recent models. And as a matter of fact, while I was making this video, I got a message that JBJ Designs liked my 812 hammer beam. Anyway, you can learn more from the link under Manufacturers. Please come join us and add your products to the 3D Warehouse.